Hi guys, I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month. Um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99, uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care. Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Aquarius, so we're going to start with these archetype cards that come from the Enchanted Map Oracle cards. I love these cards. They're very vivid, very nice. So let's let's take out uh, the repeating number here. So we've got 33 peaks of joy. We have magical prayer, 32. And then we have wizards of awareness, three. So three is a very significant number for the Aquarius at this time. Um, peaks of joy. So some of you, if you're in the peak of anything, then you're on the, the height or the high part, the precipice, the pinnacle of, you're on the peak of your joy. Wow, you're, you're really there. And we're going to see what this card has to offer you. And then it goes backwards, three, uh, 32, magical prayer. It seems as if you're at the peak of something right now, peak of joy, because of some magical prayer that you have done, did do, especially with this being 32, you know, 32 going backwards from 33 it's something you did in the past so now you're here um three 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 talks about answered prayers and then we have magical prayer and then we have the wizard of awareness so some of you got really aware um self-awareness self-awareness is sexy you got really aware about how you were coming off to the universe yourself other people um Therefore, you kind of shift it, your focus, you shift it, maybe your energy. Uh, there's a card at the bottom of the deck also, 43, another three showing up. Details, details, Aquarius. I feel like some of you have something in the making, something in the works. You need to be detail-oriented. Aquarius is a real big picture person, real macro person. Details, that's not something we do this very well unless we have like other signs highly aspected but um it's not that we can't do it it's just that it's not our strong suit we're about the big picture we're the big executive we're the big boss we see far reaching we're future thinkers we're this we're you know all of that but you're going to have to really hone in on the details of something aquarius if you want to see the peaks of joy if you are not already there let's talk about this 33 peaks of joy i am a skimmer i am not going to read every word um it's, it just is what it is um okay your life is filled with happiness so share it with others peaks of joy very nice joy is your is yours today okay you could be seeing so many synchronicities right now um and you're surrounded by true companions and again you're going to be embarking on some events that just offer so much synchronicity so go with the flow um the world is singing a beautiful harmony for you right now. Life is exhilarating and hopeful. Let gratitude fill your heart. Um, joy is contagious. Be joyful because you can you can share this with others. Okay, magical prayer, Aquarius. Some of you, so this is just really about some of you Aquarius being a real happy space, a real happy place. You're at the peak of something, the pinnacle, the precipice. You feel it. You're at the brink of something. You're just joyful. You wake up happy. You go to sleep happy. You go to the grocery store happy. You do everything happy. It's because you know where you come from. You know who you belong to. You know what you're here for. Let's see. Magical prayer, Aquarius. Um, speak your prayers. Listen for the answers. Act in faith. All right. Boom. Close the book. Speak your prayers. Listen for the answers. Act in faith. Faith is strong um, belief, 
a firm belief in okay when you see the magical prayer card it's a reminder that your prayers will be answered we just talked about that with the 333 it talks about answer prayers spirit is waiting um, to help you all right uh, conscious contact with your higher power is achieved the ritual of prayer and meditation are you meditating are you praying are you going into meditation with an, a question on your mind so that you can listen for the answer um, you may not get what you want right away but um, you will surely get what you need your destiny awaits you as long as you keep in conscious contact with the higher power be assured that you're on the right path okay surrender your wishes and your desires to spirit all right very nice so i think that really speaks for itself magical prayer you know put some oomph in it um speak the desires of your heart surrender the desires to spirit what do you really desire to happen in your love life in your career in your family life with your children with this that what do you desire to happen are you praying for opportunity or are you just praying for a way out all right wizard of awareness another three let's talk about it aquarius mindfulness being observant and remaining neutral about what goes on around you in the world this is what i'm talking about honey if it ain't your business don't make it your business uh, other people will try to make things your business also uh, awareness wizard of awareness understand when people are trying to pull you in things that just don't belong to you you may have great or you give great advice and people just want to pull feed off of you um be energized re-energized by you um so stepping into an observer position gives you a new powerful perspective yeah start to observe be quiet you cannot observe while you're talking okay so be quiet observe listen okay neutralize any discomfort or over excitement yeah so this is about being you know um like the temperance card you know just being neutral being uh you know not straying too far to the left or to the right just you know taking the middle ground um so some of you need to do that you need to wear the world as a loose garment okay so don't take anything in this world too serious don't take yourself too serious with other people always remember don't take anything personal that's one of the four agreements get that book it's, it's phenomenal um don't take anything personal uh people come and go yeah experience experiences evolve from one state to another everything is in continual shift and change no matter how much you want things to stay the same um change is happening no matter how much you want things to stay the same the wizard of awareness asks you to give up your need to define or limit yourself and they want you to walk around saying it's all good because that's what it is right let it be and watch the miracle unfold without any direct influence from you okay so you pray for and it says just let it happen you don't need to be in control of it you don't need to direct spirit direct god whatever just keep going and then we have details aquarius uh the devil is in the details right all right the most powerful patterns are created with the tiniest details pay attention sometimes aquarius can be so far reaching far thinking so aloof so in their head can live in their head completely to the point where they're just not really aware not paying attention this is the time to be aware of the fine print in all areas of your life look at the details some of you are signing contracts signing leases signing this look at the details leave the broad strokes for another time yeah when this card appears in a reading it's time to sign it's a sign to finesse a project okay so some of you like i said you got things coming up things you want to do finesse so that means you're going to be hands on with this project and you're going to be in the details you're not going to leave it any stone unturned okay time to finesse the project make small but meaningful gestures add a personal touch to your correspondence very nice be aware that what you need to know lies in the details if you're entering into an agreement of any kind pay attention because you're not going to be able to come back it's going to be too late clarity and transparency are key um you can gain great understanding by observing the the minute body language um offhand remarks and fleeting facial expressions that re reveal the larger picture so if you're talking to somebody face to face you need to be picking up on um nonverbal uh no, what is that nonverbal signs or non nonverbal communication 
You need to be reading people's facial expressions. People are reading yours. The devil is in the details, Aquarius. It looks like you on the precipice of something big. Your your prayers are about to be answered, but the universe is saying, "Look, we can give. We can do our part." Okay, and our part is the impossible, right? Believing in the impossible, but you got to do your part. You're here on earth. You're living this life. You need to go over the details. You need to make sure you're on point, uh, in tune, aware of. Okay, uh, we can't do everything, right? So um, let's see what's going on here for Aquarius. Let's uh, clarify peaks of joy. What do we have for peaks of joy for Aquarius? The Ace of Swords. This is a portal to the divine, giving you opportunity to cut through, um, to have um, some victory here. Not without the conflict, though. Not without being in conflict with yourself. Not without the conflict being that you had to cut something or someone off. But you're going to be victorious on the other side of this. You had to get... Um, honest with yourself seeing the truth of the matter that something or someone or something or some people can't go with you okay uh magical prayer or magic prayer i don't want to say magical magic prayer uh page of swords all right so they want you to do a little bit more research it is a yes answer but it could be delayed news you're going to get your prayers answered um they may be waiting for you aquarius you don't have any majors showing up and you get all, all swords. So this is about test and trial. This also could be about money when you see um, multiple sword cards. The page of swords talks about research, asking questions, um, being inquisitive, um, finding out uh, diligence, di due diligence, um, looking over, re reassessing. Okay. The wizard of awareness. What is the wizard of awareness? The seven of wands. All right. So don't let anything disturb you because there could be something or someone coming in trying to disrupt you, disturb you coming in with that disruptive or destructive uh, energy, you know, a destructive force. Uh, this could be Leo or someone with Leo in their chart. Someone who's trying to, I heard sabotage. Um, or just move you off your focus. Don't let anything, you know, take you from what it is you're trying to accomplish. Be proactive also, you know, in getting things done. Um, don't lag behind. Don't let things catch up to you. All right. What else do we have for Aquarius here? We have the five of wands, um, competing goals, you know, pettiness, argument, um, uh, the argument within yourself, the world card, very nice. It looks like there's going to be great achievement. Some of you trying to start a business, the devil card, temptation. Don't be tempted away. Um, don't be involved in things that will lead you down the road of entrapment. Again, the, the wizard of awareness says, let the, you know, wear the world as a loose garment. Don't be too attached to things, people, places, all these, you know, going ons, feeling like you need to be a part of it. You don't um, maintain your peace, your sanity by the seven of wands, by standing your ground, being unmovable, you know, being an advocate for yourself, you know, standing up for yourself. Um, with the devil here, it's like resist temptation here, resist fear too. Some of you have learned great lesson here. You need to act on it with the world and the devil showing up in the same spread. You have um, conquered that devil energy of being tempted by or tempted away or fear. But it looks like you got one last dance with this and then you can uh, move forward. You can have great achievement, maturation, uh, graduation, starting a new business. All things are a go or is a go here for you. Start, this is um, starting a new relationship, getting married. The world is so many different things. It looks like so many different things are going to come to you at one time. What else do we have for Aquarius? He had judgment, releasing and relinquishing, um, absolving, forgiving, letting go of, understanding. Once again, people, places, things, old habits, old mindsets can't go with you into this new way of existing, this new living. Um, but that doesn't mean that you need to hold them in contempt. You need to hold them, you know, in a place of unforgiveness. Forgive and move on. Let's see what else. Page of Pentacles, good news surrounding business matters, surrounding uh, promotion or starting a new business. You need to be diligent, consistent, 
you need to do something on a consistent basis also if you want to see um something come to fruition this talks about manifestation the page of pentacles what else do we have for aquarius four pentacles you need to be um saving you need to some of you are about to save for a big purchase um, this could be surrounding the home. You also need to enact some self-care. If it doesn't involve you, don't involve yourself. If it doesn't involve you, don't allow other people to try to involve you. You can be neutral. You can say nothing. You can excuse yourself with the Four of Pentacles energy. It talks about going it alone, especially in career. Um, it talks about don't let anything dominate or, or be domineering over you. Um, possessive. Don't let anything possess you. With the four of pentacles here um it talks about newfound wealth and trying to maintain it trying to maintain that uh that money there you get that bank balance and you don't want it to go down but you still got things you have to pay for it says that money is an energy also keep that in mind um be prudent where you put your money be um structured be strategic in your investments details details let's see what else do we want to tell Aquarius? And then we're going to get up out of here. This is a good reading, Aquarius. The Ace of Wands. Be up for the challenge. Be up for, um, you know, be motivated. Be up for the challenge. Other people do this thing that you're trying to do. Other people have done it. Uh, but throw your hat in the ring, too. You've got something to offer, too. This talks about entrepreneurship. Talks about psychic abilities. Again, awareness here. Magic. Uh, cosmic energy getting downloads from the universe the page of cups here it says that you have dreams but don't be too dreamy too wishful and not take enough action we saw the page of pentacles some of you could be coming into a mentorship role where you will be mentoring other people young people or people who are just in a page energy they don't have to be young but they could be trying to do something it could be in the, in the works and starts of um this is for some of you don't be too dreamy too wishful take action um too many dreams or being too dreamy and, and not you know action oriented um this could be in beauty fashion uh industry for some of you let's see what else ten of pentacles coming out this is where you're supposed to be inheritance the transference of wealth so your wealth is coming from something else somewhere else it looks like when i see this i always see like the will of fortune you know somebody else in life we you know it rains and we have the sunshine we've got up we've got down we've got people who've been in uh the high life the highlight of their life and then you've got some people who have been in low life or the low the, you know the low part of their life so it's like the transference of wealth like maybe sometime it's going to be time for you aquarius to be in a place of affluence uh having more than enough abundance maybe even marrying into money um being a banker or financier um, this is the time that uh, your fortune is changed here it says happy organized people details happy organized people build empires if that's what you're trying to build if that's what you're trying to have you need to be firstly happy and then organized um, disorganization confusion is not uh of god that is of the devil okay and of course to be unhappy is definitely not of the god of god so um you need to be both of those things uh some of you this is also you need to stay home if you don't like your family go make your own also um the advice here is that some of you could be marrying into wealth too give us one card on the ten of pentacles some of you this is long-term goal achievement nine of cups getting what you want all of a sudden with the tower with the four of wands wow some of you could definitely be getting married into money married into wealth affluence um you know luxury life of luxury some of you won't have to work or if you do won't matter um all of a sudden you go from one dynamic to the next some structure is you know torn down um there will be a rebuilding a rebirth and it looks like with the four wands there is a coming together successful completion of a project the project could be a relationship the project could be a project whatever this is it looks like you get what you want with the nine of cups again luxury um fame acclaim happiness looking good eating good drinking travel uh feeling good good sex i mean you know the nine of pentacles all things good 
the four of wands says that you won't be alone or doing it alone either you're going to be with family or you're going to have your partner or you'll have both this also talks about maybe even reunion a monumental um monumental success here a monumental contract something comes in for you great uh, one last card for Aquarius and we'll close this out. The Eight of Swords. They don't want you to stay st uh, stuck or trapped or be in the energy of needing rescue or waiting for the Calvary to come and rescue you. Come out of that. Okay. Um, whatever happened to you in a relationship with a particular person, it happened. And that's the energy that you need to be in. It happened. Um, you need to do the work to get out of that whether it's go talk to someone yeah if some of you felt used you felt abused you felt like okay this is where being good nature got me the air of being good nature when good nature turns on you you know that's what the eight of swords says the sort of like me um helping somebody you know who has a flat on the side of the road and as soon as i hop out they pull a gun out on me it's like damn i was just trying to be good so it's like maybe you felt like you were good to someone who proverbially pull that gun out on you you know they they didn't give you what you wanted they didn't um show up in the capacity that they should have shown up in they didn't reciprocate they showed up negative okay the five of uh pentacles yeah they used you they abused you they didn't give you what you what you desire what you needed all right aquarius this is what i have for you if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you go over to the website and book your own reading there Ask a question or two by texting into the number below. You can also um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.